Hey guys, it's Rochelle. Today I am going to be doing um, part one of a two-part video. Um, the first part is gonna be me doing a quick declutter of my kitchen. And then the second part, um, part two, will be me reorganizing this kitchen. We have a very small kitchen in this new house. Uh, we moved here two years ago. And um, yeah, it's very outdated. It's pretty original. I don't think they did any upgrades besides refacing the cabinets. Um, but yeah, the house was built in 1962, I believe. Um, it's very tiny. I'll go ahead and share with you, and then I'll share with you also the upgrades we did kind of so far. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to declutter because I need to do some changes in the near future with this kitchen. So I want to declutter now and organize it now kind of before we start doing all that stuff so I know what, I'm ha what I have and what I'm left with when we start working little by little on the kitchen. So here is our very tiny kitchen. It's very... Um, like long and narrow kind of, um, but it's not even that long, but uh, it was built in 1962, I believe, um, and everything is pretty much original from when they, the house was made. Um, so it starts here and it goes to there. And then um, there was a cabinet here, um, but we removed that cabinet and we installed a dishwasher because I really needed that with two kids. That was a must. And then we did replace the sink already, so that's new. Oops. And then on this side, they just have the oven, the stove top, and then a cabinet. And then the fridge goes there. And then um, I think the only thing they did in this house was reface all the cabinets. But if you can tell, like, they're already coming off. So we are going to have to do something about that soon. But the other second thing we did when we moved in was we added this unit so the shelves underneath with the countertop because there was no way i was going to cook with this little counter and then this little tiny thing here especially when um we put like uh dishes and stuff to dry like at the beginning we were putting baby bottles there and everything so there was no counters in here so the first thing we definitely did was add more storage and then off to the side there is like a pantry here so we do have a pantry and then so we do have a lot of plans to change things in this kitchen um and that's garage but when that happens we are making this little room off to the side into a pantry room um it's just a random room in the beginning of the house that's next to the kitchen that we have no real plans for so i think a pantry would be perfect especially with me wanting to like store extra food and stockpile a little bit to use as a rotation things like that since everything that happened in 2020 so that will be perfect for me for storing things and it'll give me more space in here to do what I want to do when we do kitchen um, renovations and stuff but that's all gonna happen in stages but today in today's video I am gonna show you guys just a quick declutter just going through my cabinets and drawers and decluttering what I know I don't use anymore yeah, so I just want to go ahead and just declutter quickly. So it's hopefully going to be a quick video because it should be pretty quick. There's things that I already know I want to declutter, so I just need to get them out. And then after I do that declutter, I do want to move things around, um, which I'll explain to you why I'm reorganizing that stuff after. So let's go ahead and start decluttering. So the first um, drawer I'm going to declutter is this one, which holds right now currently all our plates and stuff so the kids plates our plates things like that so i'm just going to quickly take out what does not belong here and then go from there so i know we don't use this one um we do have toddler plates right now which i'm debating i'm just going to get rid of these ones because the kids know how to take the suction off this one i will keep because it's cute and then i will keep this one as well so these two i will keep um and then as far as bowls, I'm probably going to get rid of all these little suction ones because, again, my kids know how to take them off, so it's kind of pointless. But I do have a full set of these somewhere in the dishwasher currently, um, so I'll keep these. And then I have these, don't go these two types of plates. So I'll go ahead and keep these since that's plenty of plates for the kids. And then I'm going to keep those. Let me move you up. On the top, I have this random coaster, which I do want to keep. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. It's, my son no longer uses it. Uh, 
have one more of this. I'll keep that there. This is a cup my husband got from my daughter from Disney World, and we were going to keep it because it was overpriced, and he felt she needed it. These I can go ahead and let it go. I think there's two. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these two because they're kind of just dollar two ones and they don't need them. Um, but I will keep this one. Um, it's kind of cute. Um, supposedly it holds a bottle of wine, but I like it more for the kids to use. And then... Nose Frida needs to go somewhere else, but it's there. And Bubbles, I really love Kate. Oh, and then all our little Dodger bowls are stained. So, yeah. I'm going to put this here for now. There is a cabinet here that I keep cutting boards and strainers, which I do like these um, collapsible ones. But I think for now I'm going to keep everything in there for the most part. This is a junk drawer that I'll go through later. Under my sink, um, I'm probably not going to get rid of anything. This is probably the only thing that's organized. I have two bins, a bins for rags that are dirty. I do have all these little veggie platter or flat <laughs> veggie bags that you get for my food waste ones, and I do have some paper bags from Trader Joe's. These are my towels, cascade, trash bags, and I have the open smalls, so I'm not getting rid of anything from there. Across from the fridge is all our cups. Um, I don't know if anything in here is getting rid of. Um, I pretty much use everything in here. So I have my, I can probably let go of this one. Since I have my two Pioneer Woman ones and my Stanley one and then my uh, Hydro Glass. I have two Hydro Glass. So, this is my daughter's. My husband's. So the only one I will get rid of out of here is this one because I've had it for a while and I like the other ones better. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So next is going to be these two drawers, which let's focus on one. So this drawer is where we have all the kids' cups that I bought. It's way too many. We don't use half of them. So I'm going to just quickly purge and see. That one is a one. We are this. Yes. Yes, yes.
Now I'm gonna go through these drawers. So part of my organizing thing is because one, these don't fit that great. And then the second big problem that I have is that my toddlers are walking and now they're curious in the kitchen. And even though we do close the gates to keep them out, they know my knives are here. And that is my biggest fear is that they're gonna get the knives. So I do want to move these and then put a child lock on these. Um, the only thing is these are literally old built-in cabinets. So finding a lock is gonna be the hard thing, but we'll figure something out. But I definitely don't want it at their level. So let's go ahead and purge. So as much as I like these and the idea of them, I just can't get a grip of them, at least not right now. So I'm gonna purge these. So these two I don't need. Like let go of this because I got a cheese grater for Christmas. This was the ones that like went like this and it broke and I never bought one and I would still use this. I can finally trash that. Okay. So I like both of these. Definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping this. This I like for my spatulas and I have this set as well that I use. going to get rid of this one because this one's pretty bad but I'm going to keep I'll keep the black ones. we'll do that that's done as far as pots and pans these are new these I love this, I don't have anymore, and then this one sticks now. So 
get rid of that. So above the stove and to the left, I'm not going to really touch because it's where I keep like my spices and stuff, so I'll share with you that in the organizing one. The last one I am going to do is above the oven, which is there, and that's inside here. I do have a lot of like my baking stuff in here, but I do have other appliances as well. Um... Am I gonna go fill everything, anything? So I have my mixing cups here, or my measuring cups here, my flour, my sugar, my baking stuff, my new cheese grater that I absolutely love with the little pieces behind it. Okay, I have two things I can put here. I'm gonna get rid of my Ninja Chop because I don't mind chopping onions anymore. Like, it's fine. I'll get rid of this one. But my food processor, my Ninja Blender, I'm keeping with all its accessories. But I have a food processor. And I don't... Oh, I have two. Time out. two food processors so I'm gonna let go of the little one and keep this big one and that's what I'm gonna do So I'm pretty much done decluttering, so I'll show with you everything I'm getting rid of. Okay, so I lied. I have to do this side of the cabinet as well. Um, on this uh, left side, everything there is staying. It's my two new crock pots. Well, my two crock pots that I use all the time and then snacks. So I just have to do these two. So I'll kind of quickly go through there. There's not much I'm probably going to get rid of. Um, I have my new skillet here. I have my salad spinner here. My new big pot here with rice, so this stuff is staying. Down low is all pico products and my protein shake. I have my toaster. Ouch. Uh, two little crock pots I'm not ready to get rid of. Maker, painting maker, painting bowl. Mojo gente, I'm probably still gonna keep, but I am gonna get rid of. rid of all three of my skillets because I don't use them because I don't want to maintenance them so yeah I'm pretty sure that is all I'm getting rid of for now um, yeah so that's everything I'm gonna get rid of for now so here is everything that I am purging out of my kitchen 
this pile here is all going to be trash it's things that's not donatable but the things i am going to donate is over here i'm going to do my skillets the good pans some straws some of these liners some of the kids cups that were in really good condition my mom fuel my um container this one's really cool because it has a snack thing and then the juice on the bottom my kids just don't like it and it's too big for them and then my uh, food processor and the mini ninja shop um so yeah i think that's pretty good that's a lot of stuff that i'm getting out of my kitchen that i didn't need